What's going on everybody? Dogman Dan here. Warframe. Tonbo is attached to my ash. We are on a Tower 2 capture. First run with this bad boy. I'll go over the stats with you here in a moment. So this is a first look impressions. We are using the Shimmering Blight stance, which is the particular stance that fits this. Which is awesome. I love this stance. It is not the fastest weapon, though. So we're going to have to work on speed with this a little bit, too. So I can see that just from trying it here without even looking at the stats. But we are definitely going to have some fun in the next couple of minutes. So stick with me. As always, please feel free to leave comments, questions below. I will gladly answer them for you uh, at any time. This weapon, update 1515. Uh, you can buy it in the market, of course. It is a clan research weapon. Inside our clan, it is already going. I logged in. Most of the resources were already taken care of by the guys that were there. I dropped the rest in. We are set. So, shouldn't be too, too long before these guys, the guys in the clan, get access to this thing. Now, let's go basics here. Yes, yes, okay. Uh, as you can see, it's got a one attack speed, which isn't bad, but we can work with that. We can really work with that. Uh, channeling, okay. Ch critical chance, not really there. Leap attack, it's not bad, 160. Spin attack, 178. Status is looking good at 25. And status is looking really good at 25. Uh, wall attack, 133. Uh, impact, 8. Puncture, 12. Slash, 60. So we're going to have some stuff we can really work with on this weapon. Uh, I, I think we can have a pretty good time with this weapon and obviously i'm already hitting it right here in the level 25s uh in a tower two uh no problem really well except for the target capture i just went with my haiku prime on that Hiku, hiku whatever the fuck you want to call it okay as i know what's going to be said in the comments that i said haiku and it's wrong but whatever uh and now i put shimmering blade on i put pressure point on uh, for this, and I put a basic reach mod, just the smallest reach mod I could, because I just I had five points left, and that was a four point mod. Uh, and as you can see right here, we're looking at a pretty pretty quick increase, if you will. Uh, 352 leap, 391 spin, 292 wall, 17 impact, 26 puncture, slash goes up to 132. So we're looking at a really nice upgrade right off the bat with just a pressure point mod to be honest um fury is definitely going on this so no berserker because there's no critical chance here to work with um you know you can fly across the screen when we always we, we all know that with this um and the design of it is pretty cool looking i went ahead and i changed the colors i got the blue and the uh the yellow um, I gotta change my energy color. I'm not sure. I don't think I want the green. I don't think I want to put a blue on. Gotta put a blue. But uh, I can see this be a pretty awesome weapon. Uh, just my opinion. It's just my thoughts. It's 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 nice. Uh, if you like the bows, if you're into the bows or staff weapons, this will be one that you're gonna want to put in your collection. Will it be mastery fodder? I do not think this one's going to be mastery fodder. I think it's going to be just as fun as, you know, the torpedo is. Uh, and pretty much as most of the bows. I really think the bows are a really good class of weapon in terms of melee in this game. Orthos Prime's awesome. Amphis is awesome. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who is it? Steel Marine. Arbiters. Arbiters. Alright, you know what we're going to do? You guys are going to laugh at me. I'm going to push for. Screw it. I'm on a freaking weapon that uh, is just starting up. We're just going to push for. And sit back. And let my Ash do all the hard work for me. All the hard labor. Oh, we got one more left. We'll just take care of him there. There we go. Alright. And that's what you use your ultimate for. And then we move on. So, this weapon... It's going to take a couple days to get it built, obviously. Oh, nice. Uh, inside the dojos. 
but I think you're definitely going to be happy with the weapon when you get your hands on it. Uh, like I said, especially if you're into this type of uh, the weapon, this class of weapons, you're definitely going to enjoy it. So, otherwise, like I said earlier, comments, questions below. I got lots of farming to get done to get more Ducats uh, before the Void Trader shows up tomorrow on Thursday. So, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching, as always. We'll see you soon.